Hi, my name is Max Myers, also known as the four-wheeled permaculture madman. And uh, what does permaculture mean to me? It means the, the hope and change in my life. It means the passion that I live. It means the saving of my life. You know, I was in a head-on collision in 1997. And I didn't know where I was in life then. I was kind of an adrenaline junkie and just a normal California young man. Fast cars, fast motorcycles. And then uh, when I was in my injury and broke my back, I was in the hospital recovering, and I got given a book. The book was Soul Diva, written by Anna Edie. And that book changed my life and showed me a whole new path and a whole different way of living. So permaculture is more than just uh, a science and a practice with a holistic approach to living life and to a sustainable culture and a permanent culture. But it's also a passion and a drive and force in my life. And as far as uh, your other question goes, uh, uh, what, what project am I passionate about this year? My most recent project, of course, is the greenhouse, the geodesic greenhouse, um, geodesic dome greenhouse. And what I wanted to do there was to create the maximum amount of growing space in a, in a concentric circle pattern that matters, ma you know, matches some of the classic sacred geometries we see, such as a drop falling into a pond or something like that. In the center is a circle, which acts as a circular planning table. So that was the newest project I've uh, been involved with. I, the design I, I contributed here to the Solar Living Institute. But the one I'm uh, really passionate about and looks really great here for this uh, convergence is the aquaponic system, of course. And we just finished putting this lid on top of the aquaponic system. And the, and the purpose of this lid is to keep uh, leaves and debris from falling into the tank. But the, the best example I can give you is classic, you know, children come up, children are children, they're curious, and they want to see what it's like to, to drop wood chips in and see what it looks like for the wood chips to float in the water, so they drop it in. Well, let me give you a demonstration of what's going to happen when they try to drop it in now. They try to drop it in and it's just going to fall right off. So before they were dropping the wood chips in and they were plugging up the filter and unfortunately it was killing fish and doing all kinds of damage, I take responsibility for that. You know, so now I have a better permaculture design. It takes into accountability the fact that this is a wonderful site with lots of visitors and families and children every year. So now we have this protection on here. But in any case, this is the aquaponic system. This is the fish tank, and in this fish tank, it's buried four feet in the ground. And because it's buried four feet in the ground, we have Mother Earth embracing that tank and keeping it nice and cool. And the way this system works is the water flows around in a circle through a venturi, and it spirals down to the bottom. Down to the bottom, I got a drain. And then the water goes out through the bottom where I can easily remove all the fish manure and any waste in the tank. And then it goes out to the first filter over there. If you want to follow me over to this filter, I'll show you what I mean. So this filter right here is the this filter here is the first stage of filtration. It's often referred to as a clarifier. Um, it's all this type of clarifier is what's, what's known as a swirl filter. And that means that the water is just swirling around and around and around until the particles that are in here suspended in the water get heavy enough and waterlogged enough to where they fall out of suspension. And what I mean by that is they get wet, heavy with the water and they fall down to the bottom of the tank and they accumulate at the bottom of the tank where I can easily send that excess of waste, all the parts of fish manure, uneaten fish food, chunks of algae, and I can send it over here to a worm bin where I use that fish waste to raise worms and I feed the worms back to the fish. So it's a beautiful interconnected closed loop system. And in the second stage of filtration, you see it here after this beautiful uh, painting. My mother actually painted this. I, I, I hired my own mother to do the art on this system. I love how the, you know, it's a functional art form, this aquaponic system. It's more than just squares and circles. I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to model after nature. In this tank, I'm going to go around the other side and you can see me better. But in this second tank here, in this second tank, we have a second stage of filtration. And this is a, both a mechanical and a biological filter. And what's being achieved here is that the water is moving through this tank from the bottom up. It's moving through this material here. This is a, a classic organic, a certified organic orchard netting material. It's made of a very stable UV, UV resistant plastic. And then after all those particles get suspended and we have all the surface area for the biology to work on the nutrients in the water, it goes through the roots on these water hyacinths. You see some roots here on the water hyacinth. And it flows out through this overflow pipe and into the aquaponic grow bed. And now this style of system is using what's called a deep water culture technique. So meaning that this, this beautiful spiral grow bed over here is floating on top of the water. So the plants are literally floating on top of the water 
contained below. Now these are really small roots because this is a really young lettuce, but eventually you'll have pretty massive root systems that cover up most of the water flowing through. So you can see how easy it is for these roots to filter the water for the fish. And then if you move your way into the system, the water flows from the pump. I'm sorry, the water flows from the fish tank and it spirals around and around and around and around until it finally gets to the center of the spiral. Now the water's had a chance to go the entire run of the, the grow bed and now the water's really clean because the roots have removed the excess of nutrients from the water and the water is pumped by a very, very efficient DC direct solar powered pump here and that pump is pumping the water back to the fish tank. So this cycle is continuing all the time. So that's the basic layout of the system. The one thing I would love to point out to you is that this, these uh, stumps over here of something freshly harvested, this is the bok choy that was harvested today. And we're using this bok choy to feed uh, the permaculture convergence. Uh, it would be served for dinner tonight. It was served earlier for lunch. And it was 370 heads. And we grew that in five weeks with no weeding, no tilling, no irrigation systems, no, you know, no gophers, no moles, no voles, none of that, no, no fertilizing. Just plant and walk away. I mean, you do need to spray these plants for pests, and I spray them once a week with compost tea. But other than that, virtually zero maintenance. So that's my newest project here at the Solar Living Institute. Really appreciate you taking the time to see what I'm up to, and uh, stay in touch at NorCalAquaponics.com.